good morning so this is the ielts reading so there are several words which is shown over here and i will discuss the meanings in detail vocabularies i will be focusing in the end i will be showing an essay uh, which i wrote based uh, i use several words from here so you can just type uh, this thing this is the heading and uh, search in the internet so you will be getting the reading section otherwise if possible okay you uh, i will leave that link in the description or you can just go and get it an original since if you type you will be getting the same details so i will just discuss the meaning from the uh, that portion so when i created this uh, when i created uh, this not of mine so i made in an intention that i can use the same vocabulary for my uh, essay okay so this i got from a different text so that's uh, you can use if you want so there are some several essays which was shown in the uh, ielts essay related to plagiarism i got those uh, i i looked out all those things and then i got this idiom okay so the cherry on the on top of the cake okay the cherry on top of the cake or the cherry on top of sunday okay this pronunciation is sunday sunday okay sunday means it's a dish of ice cream with added ingre ingredients such as fruits nuts and syrup so that is known as sunday so the pronunciation is little bit different okay so this is the fruit uh, ice cream so you can either say cherry on top of the cake or cherry on top of the sunday so which means something that makes something that is already good even better or perfect so already ice cream is good in a good condition so and in order to make it better so that is known as cherry on top of the cake cake is already good right and on above that uh, on top the cherry has been added okay that is the situation for his career for his career the olympic games will be the cherry on the cake you can use these idioms in your essay for his career the olympic games will be the cherry on the cake he put the cherry on top of the cake by scoring for third time he put the cherry on top of the cake by scoring for the third time the garden is not our main reason for buying this house but it's a cherry on top so you can uh, use that ideal home so ideal home uh, so you can use the same sentence uh, okay the garden is not our main aim still if uh, i get such a house that will be cherry on top next word is dissolve dissolve means end so this is a common word which is using in the uh, essays dissolve okay now uh, it is there is a meaning uh, related to dissolving the materials other than that there is a different meaning which means end one is related to signs dissolve you know soluble uh, insoluble material all those things so in essays which means end to end an official organization or a legal arrangement to end an official organization or a legal arrangement is known as dissolve parliament has been dissolved which means it ended their marriage was dissolved in 1968 so better than end you can use dissolve <coughs> they decide to dissolve the partnership they decide to dissolve the partnership okay next is legitimate okay legitimate which uh, so all problem solution essays you have to write something related to government so government has to do something so 
that at that time you have to talk about law if you have to talk about law at that time you can use this legitimate so this is a band 9 vocabulary allowed by law that is known as legitimate the army must keep ba power back to the legitimate government allowed by law the ideal the correct government the army must give power back to the legitimate government so one more meaning is the which means reasonable and acceptable okay so if it is justifiable then uh, it is also known as legitimate he claimed that the restaurant bill was a legitimate business expense he claimed that the restaurant bill was a legitimate business expense so it's acceptable business expense okay so you know already restaurant is the right so you can write in the letter if you want it was a register uh, regist, legist, uh, legitimate bill okay but you are uh, having problem with the service so only to add this word reasonable and acceptable and another sentence is her passport seemed legitimate but on closer inspection it was found to have been altered okay they complain about excessive government instruction into their legitimate activity. Okay. Legitimate refugees should be treated with compassion. Okay. Next word is amendment. Amendment means actually its meaning is modification. So I didn't get a good picture for that. See, this is like a okay uh, with eraser it is modifying, right? That is considered that can be considered as amendment. The pronunciation is amendment. Okay, amendment. Amendment means a change or changes made to the words of a text. Okay, a change or changes made to the words of a text. That is known as amendment. He insisted that the book did not need amendment. There is no need for change modification. So I have made a few last means amendment to the amendments to the article. Presidential power was reduced by a constitutional amendment in 1991. Okay, so this is these are the synonyms. Adjustment, alteration, modification. More than that, amendment is the better vocabulary. An amendment to the bill was agreed without a vote. Now, next word is abuse okay see here you can see abuse right abuse means to use something for the wrong purpose in a way that is harmful or morally wrong abusement physical abusement everything you know right use wrongly so some sentences are she is continually abusing her position authority by getting other people to do things for her keep in mind you are not learning vocabularies you are can use the same vocabulary for your essays she is i will show you all those things in the end she is continually abusing her position authority by getting other people to do things for her I never expected that he would abuse the trust I place in him to abuse alcohol. If you abuse your body, now you will pay the price when you are older. So, real means, uh, if you real or your mind or brain real means that you feel very shocked or confused and unable to act. That is known as real. Okay. We were reeling in amazement. It could be amazement, shock, delight. 
okay with the news that we had won all the money all that money so it's basically you're confused okay we we are were we were reeling in amazement shock or delight really means just think confusing or shocking now next word is crib so crib means there are several meanings one is like cradle okay other meaning is to copy or take someone's else plagiarism that is the topic right so crib to copy or take someone's else work i sometimes wonder what tv show he cribble crib that it's not cribble it's script okay script that line from crib cribbed okay past tense copy someone's next word this is a good vocabulary where back to him verbatim verbatim it you can see over here it's like be and the r is silent verbatim 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 okay verbatim 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 means copying word for word letter for letter okay copying exactly as it is okay verbatim means using exactly the same words as were originally used that is known as verbatim which is an adjective okay so a verbatim account which means copying the same word as it's written original used in original uh, document it's not a verbatim transcript for every word spoken during the meeting these are verbatim quotation not paraphrases okay next is uh, the verbatim copying of recipes online is violation of the copyright of the original author okay now stay in youtube also they will be doing actually almost all cookery show recipes look same the which means only they are doing verbatim right they are copying verbatim copying okay stake out something it has a different meaning so one meaning is watch okay stake out something it's a phrase so one meaning is watch to secretly watch a place especially for illegal activity that is known as stake a group of reporters staked out the hallway hoping to catch the singer on her way out next meaning is to lop see uh, be loath to do something all this vocabulary uh, has been used had been used in the ielts uh, passage unwilling to do something that is known as loath be loath to do something unwilling i am loath to spend it all at once so synonyms are averse unwilling indisposed okay indisposed you can use otherwise you can use loath to do something it's a good vocabulary the tip of the iceberg idiom it means uh, a small noticeable part of a problem so you can see the whole iceberg only the tip you can see so these small local protests are just the tip of the iceberg now integrity which means honesty okay the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles that you refuse to change no one doubted that the president was a man of the highest integrity highest honesty so otherwise you can say somebody is artistic or professional integrity okay can to preserve his artistic integrity he refused several lucrative hollywood offers next word is unimpeachable okay which means of a such a high standard of honesty and moral goodness that it cannot be doubted or criticized okay here one thing is the mr x said the bishop was a man of uneach unimpeachable unimpeachable integrity and character 
okay fact means okay fact something means troubling okay be boring tiring to do that is known as fagging okay which means basically troubling right it's such a fact to have make your bed every morning next word is condone 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 means to accept or allow behavior that is wrong. Accept or be allow behavior that is wrong. That is known as sometimes if uh, our parents, if uh, especially if they are spo uh, if they are having parents, if they are having spoiled children, they have that habit of condoning, right? If the government or you can uh, simply you can use synonym excuse. If the government is seem to condone violence. The bloodshed, uh, the bloodshed will never stop. That is known as condone. So next word is assimilate. It has two meaning. So assimilate means learn. It's hard to assimilate so much information. So it's true that you can't assimilate this many information. So if you watch several times and then try to assimilate whatever you learn, okay. So we hope that students will assimilate the information contained in the lecture. So one more information means assimilation. Assimilate means absorb. Okay, to absorb food or a substance into the tissue of a living organism is known as assimilate. So the sentence is in this form, vitamin can be easily assimilated by the body. So which means absorb by the body. Next word is assimilable, assimilable, okay, which means food related to food, okay, assimilable, absorbable carbon. Fish has just as much assimilable albumin as meat, okay. Flax seeds containing healthy oils is a properly balanced and assimilable form. Next word is irretrievably. It's a good vocabulary. Be careful with the spelling. Okay. I double R E T R I. Tree. Verbally. Okay. Good vocabulary. Okay. It's like um, in a way that is not possible to correct. So now it's not possible to correct. That is known as irretrievable. See. This uh, TV cannot be corrected, right? So that is known as irretrievably. So this is the, or you can say divorce is irretrievable. Irretrievably. 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 Okay. Irretrievably. Next. So the sentence is irretrievably damaged or lost. Okay. They have irretrievably altered the museum. Next means rigorous. Rigorous means careful. Okay. Rigorous careful testing. Carefully. Okay. Rigorous testing. Rigorous checking. Uh, rigorous method which is done carefully. Now float means uh, not floating in the water. It also has a meaning suggest. Laura has floated the idea that we should think about expanding into Europe's next Europe next year. So this is the question related to plagiarism. It's an essay question, and this is the answer of mine. I am just posing a little only. Uh, you can pause and watch. Okay, causes, solution. And conclusion. Several things uh, I had taken from that uh, reading section. Uh, you can say plagiarism itself. But the thing is that if you want to have a good score in the examination means definitely you need a wide reading. So and definitely Cambridge uh, reading has several vocabulary. So 
and original sins. So here they are discussing are we creating a generation of people unable to distinguish between an original idea, distinguish between an original idea and a borrowed one. Borrowed one means you copied that. Okay. Then I use this vocabulary like this cyber cheating in the essay, cyber cheating, cyber shoplifting. Okay. Then rise in plagiarism. See, rise in plagiarism and be careful with the plagiarism spelling it's uh, p l a g i a r i s m okay abuse copyright abuse reeling means what thinking uh, that in our brain right so i had discussed those meaning over here If you read something means you are confused or shocked. So reading from his new version of plain old academic dishonesty, good vocabulary, with students copying entire slabs, copying entire thing, or essays with a click and frag motions, buying essays from cheat sites or even paying people to write them okay and crib from copied article has been copied okay copied verbatim okay copied verbatim means word to word copying search engine mandatory instructions on referencing and continue its three stakes like uh, three chances Script means copying. Verbatim means using exactly the same word. Stake means observe. Watch. It's three stakes. It's like a risk also is one vocabulary. It's three risk you are out or three observation you are out. Breach means violation of the law. Rigorous means careful. I think we are more careful now. Offender, offenders, okay. Students are offenders. Okay, loth. Loth means unwilling to reveal them. So, a new plagiarism detection program is good. It, so, in the essay, you can say new plagiarism detection program. Tip of the iceberg. Now need to be address. Address means solution. Address within a framework of academic integrity. Okay, integrity means academic integrity. Somebody's integrity that is known as academic honesty. Fagging behind technology means troubling behind technology. Alan floats an intriguing idea. Floats means suggest an intriguing idea means it's a good idea. Okay originality check button so you have to read between so otherwise it will be a so lengthy video so this is the essay so several vocab vocabularies are outside of uh, that uh, reading section so you can Check by yourself if you want. Thank you.